Hello, and welcome back to the Squawking Eagles podcast. This is our fantasy football edition. Uh, we are going to be joined by Inside Edge Sports with their analysis on this week's fantasy pickups, drops, and sleepers. So thank you for tuning in, and if you would like to please leave a comment about what you want to know about next week's fantasy picks, drop it in the, the comments box below, and we will get to it as soon as we can. Thank you. So if you got some final uh, fantasy football stuff for this week, I know we're watching uh, Buffalo and Tampa Bay right now. Um, what do you? What are your thoughts on this week's fantasy football takes and hot takes and yeah. starters and no starters just uh first off just a lot of injuries um Debo Samuel out Justin Fields out um Kenneth Walker didn't practice Darren Waller um likely not playing so just a lot of injuries there Raheem Mostert Tyree Kill for the Dolphins both Tyreek apparently playing but yeah just stuff to watch there what are yeah. your um Go ahead, Michael. Go. I'm sorry. You got any uh, sleeper pickups that uh, people should be looking at to to better their league this week or better the team this week? Pickups? Well, uh, I know Latavius Murray is available in a lot of them, but um, they're playing right now, so um, can't really pick up now. But um, Kadarius Tony for the Chiefs, an interesting one, and then um, Foreman for the Bears. He had a no. – now, yeah. as an owner of Kendarius Tony for the last couple of weeks, uh, he <laughs> hasn't been too this whole season. Uh, do you see a turnaround in these next couple of weeks for him? Yeah, I do. Um, okay. About eight, then uh, nine. Not horrible. Obviously, he got saved by a touchdown, it looks like. But uh, the, the targets haven't been there. But, I mean, it's also the Chiefs. The receivers haven't been you know, like utilized in large samples, I guess. But yeah, I think he'll he'll continue doing better. Now, with um, is uh, D- Justin Fields is going to be out this week? What do you think about you know people picking up uh, the Bears quarterback Bad because week. he had such a great a great first game last week? What do you think about that? Don't do that. Don't don't do it. Do not pick up. No. <laughs> Horrible. Why? Why? He's just, I mean, his projections are low. He had a, yeah, he did nothing last week. Um, he doesn't run the ball that much. So, I mean, if you'd want to come in and pick up points, you got to be able to run as a as a QB. That's a large sample of your points. Only threw for 150 yards, 80 yards in the game he came in. Just not, you need to see more, and you probably won't because Fields will be back next week, so. Awesome. Um, anybody that is on the fantasy wire that is on a bye week that it would be a good pickup to, for next week. What do you think? Um, I believe there's no buys this week. Nobody has a buy this week. No. Okay. All right. Cool. What about you, Mark? You any questions for fantasy football? How do you feel that the injury to Hertz's knee is going to play a role in his? fantasy potential this weekend yeah he's listed as healthy now wasn't on the injury report as you guys probably know i don't think it'll have too much of an impact i mean he has he has at least one passing touchdown every game he has six rushing touchdowns a season uh maybe he doesn't rush as much but he's still throwing over 200 yards every game and he's going to get multiple passing touchdowns regardless and he has I mean, he has a, a few, a good amount of picks this year, actually, but I don't think it'll be too much of an effect, even if he can't run as much. Okay, so I got a question for you. I've, I have um, Kirk Cousins and Jared Goff on my team. Who do I start this week? Because Kirk Cousins Jared had a great Goff. last week. Who do I start? Jared Goff. Jared Goff. The Raiders will not be able to stop them this week at all. And uh, he utilized Jameer Gibbs more out of the passing game, too which was helpful for him. I mean, Jameer Gibbs went off last week. Um, Sam Brown is continuing to be a potentially top 10 receiver in the league, and he's going crazy in fantasy. Just, you know, and also the Jameson Williams back, their first rounder at Alabama, finally back, and he's going to get more 
Um, they're just going to be throwing the ball a lot, I think, especially if David Montgomery's out too, which will play a role. Now, Mark, I know you have uh, St. Brown on your team. Unbelievable. But yeah, he's ridiculous. You like yep. that, Mark? Oh, I'm, of course I do. St. Brown's been doing great. I'm, I mm-hmm. knew pre, preseason he was going to have a hell of a year. Yeah, he's averaging 21 points a game. Well, yeah, he's he's doing everything he wants, everything he told everyone he would do. You know, he's keeping that list of who everyone thought was better than him, and he's saying, nah, that's me. Yeah. Um, I, he- I, I got a question on uh, for the uh, Najee Harris owners out there. Is he, a, is he a sell guy or a keep guy right now? Well, obviously having a really bad year, for regardless if you drafted him high or even lower, has been horrible. Um, if you can trade him, I would because um, Warren, Jalen Warren, I think, is getting like almost similar tar- uh, similar snaps. Um, good, good week for Najee Harris, but he just the difference this season. The big difference. I mean, obviously, he's still rushing, but receiving. Last season, he'd have games with double digit targets, and this season, you're just seeing the most targets he has is three mm. this season. So I think that's a huge difference. So if you can get anything for him, I would, yeah, for sure. I also have another question. In one of my other leagues, I have Brian Robinson and um, Daryl Henderson. Uh, who do I? Who would I start? Who should I start over the, between those two guys? Uh, safe picks, Brian Robinson. He, he's, even, though, even though he's going against the Eagles this week. Yes, he's okay. been hovering around ten so points a game, averaging thirteen. Not bad. I I, I know. If, a few people have been um, trying to trade for him, actually, um, because while he doesn't get a lot of targets, I mean, he's getting the, the, the attempts and he's really turned into the, the sole, I think, number one back, even though they have Gibson um, and Henderson. I mean, obviously more of a question mark when you just get brought up by a team. He did uh, very well last week, but I think – the safer pick is Robinson, regardless of matchup. Okay. Awesome. All right. Inside, inside Edge Sports on Instagram. I'm going to go over and give him a follow. He's nice. uh, He puts up a lot of stuff on fantasy pickups, fantasy drops, uh, best fantasy lineups that you that from the week. Um, you can follow him. He does that every week uh, since the beginning of this year. Uh, cool. If you have any questions, send him your questions at Inside Edge Sports. And um, he'll give you some uh, knowledge and let us know what you think. The uh, the YouTube, the YouTube. What's your What's your YouTube? Drop, go ahead, drop your uh, your hold your handles there. Inside Edge Sports uh, underscore YT. Same except instead of IG, it's YT. All right, awesome. What, All right, what's your cool. What's your What's your football team? Uh, Lions. Oh, okay. The Lions. Nice. Okay. Nice. There like makes it. Like makes, it. makes sense why you said Jared Goff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Makes like sense it. now. All right. That's an unbiased pick. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. The, we'll keep in touch and talk to you next time. Yeah, Go ahead. Right, see you. And thank you for listening to our fantasy football edition of the Squawking Eagles podcast. Again, thank you, Inside Edge Sports, for joining us and giving your expert analysis on this week's fantasy picks. You can follow uh, the Squawking Eagles podcast on Instagram, and also you can follow Inside Edge Sports on Instagram as well. Thank you again, and we will see you next week.